Hey everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. Today I'm going to discuss the topic what IT tools and skills every test engineer should know. Now this is sort of a roadmap for the test engineers or the freshers who are trying to build a career into the software testing field. Now software testing is not just about learning the testing concepts and then that's it. You need to know a lot more apart from the testing skills that you usually acquire when you are doing any sort of course or certification. Okay, so let's quickly get started and see step by step the key skills and tools that are needed in the current market situation and there could be more depending on the domain. If you are going into a specific domain, there could be more, but these are sort of a generic skills and tools that you should always have in your resume and you should learn that. Okay. So the first is like the basic, like testing skills you should be having, right? So I'm just ignoring that testing skills. There is a lot that goes into the testing skill and that should be there that's the default right so testing skills are the prerequisites so that's the first thing that you will learn when you want to build a career into the software testing field so this is the first thing now there is a lot that you need to learn in testing itself so you might be learning you might be having a subject in your college and then when you come out you do some certification so all those testing principles how to do testing write test cases defect everything that is by default you need to have it right apart from testing skills there are a lot more things that are required to succeed and crack the interviews or even if you are working into the software testing to succeed and progress in your career as a tech person or as a lead you need to have these skills okay so the second most important thing is about tool jira okay now you might be wondering why do we need to learn jira as part of software testing now jira is agile project management tool but jira is used almost everywhere nowadays okay it's agile project management tool and the whole team working into the project delivery or software development it will include business analysts developers testers need to know how to use jira and it's pretty basic if you're just a user of a jira it's not a complex thing at all so learning how to use jira is important because nowadays the test management is also available within jira defect management is also available within jira right so there are plugins that can be installed within jira and that will help you to enable defect management or defect management is by default available within Jira, but test management can be enabled by installing the plugins, for example, Zephyr and X-Ray and there are many more out there. Okay, so very important skill to acquire. And if you haven't already watched the Jira videos that I have posted, this is the time. Go ahead and watch it and understand how you can build the Jira skills for yourself. Okay. The second thing is uh, or third point basically is test management, right? So test management tools. Now test management tools, you don't need to learn separately because most of the companies that are using Jira will be using the plugin for test management within Jira. So it could be Zephyr, all right, or X-Ray. So these are the very popular ones that you will find either one of these and till now from past seven eight years i have found just zephyr or x-ray or the, the qc was there but it's basically phased out so that is totally standalone test management tool and now very minimal clients would be using that so this is popular so zephyr and x-ray plugins within jira so once you learn jira you will be able to learn zephyr and x-ray as well there is a tutorial complete tutorial on about test management Zephyr with Jira that I have posted as well. So you can watch those 10, 12 videos that are there in the tutorial series that's available as well on the channel. X-Ray, I might come up with the series very soon, but as of now, it's not planned. So third point, very important. You need to understand how to use or how to do test management within Jira using Zephyr or X-Ray. Now the fourth point is about the agile software development right so agile software development 
now when you usually learn about or read about the software development methodologies there have been so many old methodologies that we have already learned waterfall v model nowadays it's all about agile software development and it will be either scrum or kanban okay now in software development it will be mostly scrum kanban is more of a for projects which are sort of it support where there is a continuous flow of work but then in scrum, scrum is mostly used wherein there is a product development and you have set of backlog or the requirements that need to be built and there is a cadence of two to four weeks every uh, two to four weeks iteration to build those requirements into the working code right so it's an iterative development approach and we need to uh, you need to understand the agile software development what it is what is scrum how scrum functions 90 percent of the places you will see that projects are using scrum to manage agile software development or software development projects okay so very important factor there as well now number five is the very important so this is tech a little bit of technical so os basics okay so operating system basics whether it's windows linux okay you need to understand now you might think that you know everything in windows and linux right but do you know how to run the command within windows os or do you know how to write the powershell script a basic one okay so just understanding how to use the operating system is one thing from the user interface but then you need to understand a little bit of command line of the windows so command line of the windows and about the linux you need to understand what is shell okay and some of the linux commands the basic linux command how to make the directory how to go to that particular directory how to see the file or edit the file because when you get into the testing project it's it won't be just the windows servers it will be the linux servers that might be used and when you are on the linux server you might be required to check the logs and how to search the values within the logs how to start the server stop the server so these command line shell and command line will help you to achieve all of that okay so os basics is very important not getting into too much detail but at least basics of linux and command line in windows okay now the next thing is about client server architecture and service oriented architecture now understanding of these concepts is important what exactly is service oriented architecture what is client server architecture that understanding will help you to correlate your understanding with the actual applications when you get into the projects okay so that these things are really important as well the next thing is api so understanding of the api what exactly is api or web service right so what what is api and understanding how you are going to test it right so api testing especially not automating them for initial phases it will be api testing and testing it manually so there are tools postman there are uh, there, there is soap ui and i have posted a, a video a complete series on soap ui okay so that includes the manual testing and the automation using soap ui so automation of the api so watch couple of videos on api testing the initial few initial few videos that i have posted on postman which is about the manual testing of the api so that will give you understanding of how to test apis in very minimal effort you will be able to learn that okay so that is also very very important skill to have now programming language basic okay this is very important so something at least basics of programming language okay so if else while how you use them what is the benefit of those loops and conditions so learn little basics and try to start with say for example python if you find java a little bit complicated start with python and learn just a basic of programming that basic will help you to develop a skill that will be helpful in any say for example you want to progress into the scriptless automation then this understanding the basics of programming language i'll write basics here and that will help 
to progress into that role as well okay and the last one which is the latest sort of you know cloud technologies if you can so anything cloud aws what exactly it is um, gcp or azure these are the three market leaders right so aws is the most popular one and if you understand what exactly is aws or what is done there then there might be a chance that you are part of a project and aws is there or gcp is there and azure is there right so your understanding about the cloud technologies and what exactly it is about will help you to grasp those concepts easily or if somebody is talking about those things into the project it will be helpful for you okay so these are some of the tools and skills every test engineer every test engineer it doesn't matter you are a fresher if you are looking for job preparing for interview you should go ahead and start learning a little bit about each of these if you are already in the company and working you should always try to build your skills and acquire more skills around these topics and there is a lot more so it depending on your experience and interest you can keep building your skills because in it if you're not building your skills and you want to be and at the tech side of the job even though if it is non tech or tech still everyone needs to be building or acquiring new skills to progress and succeed in their career okay so that's all about this particular video on it tools and skills that every test engineer should know if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe for more such videos and the tutorial videos that i keep posting thank you very much for watching